I know, I've been gone for a while. Should have been here before now. Things just keep getting in the way. And we're going to talk about where we're going next. So we got moved. You knew uh, we were talking about it right there in December. We were selling the house. We were going to move to a different house. The biggest issue with this place, you would think it would be size, but it's not, or space. It's not. We're happy with the smaller house because it's just two of us. Completely happy with that part. The yard, it's over half an acre yard. Plenty of room to put a shop in the backyard. And uh, the issue now is the time frame that we're going to get built in. Let's see, it is February now and the 1st of May. They're going to start the build. The upside of it is, is the company that once they start building, it'll probably be done within two weeks. And I mean, that's from dirt to metal up. And I tried to get hold of them early. And when I did get hold of them, I kept making changes to the building, how I wanted it put in. And so finally we got it settled on it. And they'll be here hopefully first of May and maybe a little earlier. I'd be even happier with that. So right now that on the woodwork side, it really kind of has me spinning my wheels. I don't really have a place to go. And I've got all my tools and storage, including the CNC. So where I thought I would go from here is laser CNC. This is my laser and it's a cheaper one. Uh, it's just an off brand. Uh, I don't even know. I couldn't even find the brand name of it. I bought it a couple of years ago, have used it minimally just here and there the software i've had was just horrible i found some better software which i'll talk about later and uh, this is where i was going to be at for the time being just to keep some stuff going my question now is this if anybody has any experience with this we keep getting cold fronts and when we get cold fronts well, i'm talking 10 degrees 12 degrees well, the way this CNC is set up, it has a water pump that circulates water through as a coolant, which is all well and good when I was running it in the house. But out here in the garage, it's not heated. So my question is, can I put like an RV antifreeze in the water and circulate it through the machine safely? I, I don't know what that would do exactly where the water flows and what area it cools inside the machine and I don't want to put antifreeze in there and find out that that was the wrong idea that it's going to corrode something. So that's one thing I need an answer to and just because I that's why I got started yet is that simple thing. And like I was said out there I was got the uh, uh, light burn the software. It looks like it's going to work out great. It looks much simpler to use. And the other upside is we have got improvements in this house that I didn't have at the other one so doing a video is not going to be as big a deal for me because I can upload a video in like 10 minutes now where at the other house it was up to eight hours I would up, literally have to upload a video start at the night before and we couldn't watch TV or use internet for a good eight ten hours so I usually did it while we were sleeping that worked fine unless I forgot which happened several times so I wasn't ever intended on it being this long of a hiatus. I was really expecting maybe a month and being back at it. And it was just an unreasonable thought. I wouldn't have thought that there was that much backup on building shops right now with the expense of all the materials and the way everything has gone. Uh, clearly I was wrong because there are three companies around here that make them make build shops and that's just their specialization and two of them got back to me one of them never has still not returned a call or an email or anything so i've been i've talked to people that know the guys that run that company and they said they're so backed up they're just not taking orders right now I, 
that it just floors me just just because I know how much stuff's costing at the moment and we finally got the one that got back to us that I wanted anyway so it'll work out good and with the shop I'm actually going bigger I'm gonna have more space I'm gonna do a 30 by 50 well it's gonna be a 30 by 50 shop I'm gonna have 30 by 40 of it we're gonna build a separate room on it so uh, my wife's business can be moved out there and get it out of the garage and she can make her shirts and stuff out there but that part of that I'll probably be videoing just to kind of show how it's being put together and wired up and which is a whole other story we're trying to decide whether we're in the city limits or not and still haven't got a good answer so I don't know if I can wire it or I can hire it wired don't know and just kind of another little sneak peek I do have another piece of equipment in mind that I think I'm going to purchase that I can video and put on here it's just it to me it's more or less going to be a toy I mean I, I really don't have a really use for it other than they're just fun to play with and it's a computerized machine and that's all I'll tell you about it some of you'll figure it out some of you won't but it'll it makes really cool stuff so guys this is just going to be a was a short video for you I was just trying to give you a heads up where I'm at I know for sure by May I'll have the uh, shop built but I plan on starting to put out videos regularly if not this next weekend the weekend after what I've got to do now is just figure out if I can the whole thing with the the coolant I, I got to know if I can put antifreeze in it and I haven't found any good information on that yet uh, simply because most people run these things in their house well I want to run mine from a garage just because we want it out of the house and uh, when I get that answer I'll definitely be starting up doing it so guys that's gonna be it for today if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time.